What's up guys? Today we are watching the official trailer for Teen Wolf the movie. So I actually didn't plan on recording at all today but I logged on to Instagram and as soon as it came up it showed that like Teen Wolf they officially like released the trailer and I'm like shit I really want to watch this so I just hopped on here as fast as I could because <laughs> I just I already reacted to what it was like the first clip or whatever that they released maybe a month ago but it's the official movie trailer so I wanted to watch this because I'm really excited for this movie because you know best TV show by far and now it's getting a movie so I guess let's get into the trailer <laughs> something brought them back that made me think that dude was about to get cut for these kinds of things we call him the alpha right like a dog no like a wolf hell yeah coach is back <laughs> well we knew that eating yeah kind of she's here Oh my god. That was just like the night they met. How do we know she's really Allison? Who are you? It's me, it's Scott. Scott who? So she doesn't remember him. To play a new game. You have to find her. <laughs> and stop her. And help her remember who she was. That's so traumatic, though. It's like he's locking pieces. Was that Malia with Parrish? Are you kidding me? I'm still standing. I'm still the Alpha. That was like a really, like, a Peter line. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. Where do I even start? Okay. Malia looks like she's messing with Parrish now and that's weird because in the show Lydia looked like she was messing with Parrish in a way but I mean they're older now so I guess it's okay but like in the beginning scene it kind of seemed like Stalinsky, Sheriff Stalinsky was gonna get sliced and if he dies they can't kill him they can't kill Sheriff Stalinsky they're not going to I'm just saying it right now they can't and they won't watch them actually do it but I don't think they will please don't kill them fuck and then the whole thing with Allison coming back it makes sense that she doesn't remember them because obviously she wouldn't have went after Derek if she did unless like it just heightened her rage from like him killing her mom or something like that but like since she doesn't know who they are, they have to fight her like that. And do you see how traumatic that was? Like, it was already traumatic for them to actually, like, lose her at the end of season three. But imagine that they actually have to kill her. Like, the Nagitsune is freaking ruthless, dude. Bringing back Scott's freaking dead ex just to, like, fight them. And it's like, they're gonna have to kill her all over again not that like they killed her in the first place but it's like the only killed her but it seems like they're gonna have to kill her and that's gonna be traumatic oh my god that was <laughs> i'm hyped for this movie because it's like you see all the new aspects of like everyone's lives like Lydia I don't even know what she's doing but she seems like she's working an office type of job or whatever so that's cool I don't even know what Scott was doing but he's helping what the fire department or something I don't know is it 
I was just thinking about it like from last time aren't isn't like the end of Teen Wolf the movie leading into the new show Wolf Pack that Jeff Davis is coming out with because like I was pretty sure that was what's happening but I'm not totally sure but like it would be cool if it did but if it doesn't like Oh well, but that's just what I thought was happening. And that's what kind of like, it kind of brought Wolfpack into my head in that scene because, you know, the start of it is like the fire shit in the woods. I don't know. I just brought it into my head. But it's like, you know what? So Teen Wolf ended with, what was his name? Alec, Alex, I don't know. But like at the end of season six, in the last episode they brought in like a new wolf so we never see or hear from him again like he's not in the movie or anything so I don't know it kind of doesn't make sense I was kind of hoping that they might bring him back but in a way it's kind of like why would you because it's like we didn't really know anything about him but like my god you know if you think about it, you know how I was just talking about Sheriff Solinsky getting sliced and diced. What if that's a reason for them, for like Dylan O'Brien to have a mini cameo? I know they said that he wasn't going to be in the movie, but I don't know. Maybe they're trying to be like Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield and them and be like, no, we're not in the movie. And then bam, he's actually in the movie, you know? I'm just hoping that because... Styles is my favorite character of all time. <sighs> I wish he was like just in the movie, but I know he couldn't have been because like a mix of schedules and stuff. And I guess he was just like done with that part of his life, even though Teen Wolf was the start of his career. But he's doing pretty good right now. I've been keeping tabs on him in a way. I mean, I always do. He's my celebrity crush can't help it but like where do I even you know what I, I just thought about this too in the trailer it kind of seemed like the no kitsune had a power and it's like yeah he's a supernatural thing but it's like we didn't see that he had much power in the show like, his way of showing strength, in a way, was, like, getting into Styles' mind and the freaking Oni. But in this, it kind of seemed in, like, that jail cell scene that he, like, pulled the sheriff person to him. It's like, why? Why now just show that power instead of showing it in the show? And that kind of gets me wondering, is the same actor who played... The Nagitsune back then, who also played Bronski in season three, is he gonna be back? Like, is it the same actor, or did they just cast someone else? There's so many questions. Did we like? I just started thinking about this. Not, I know Kira's not coming back, but. They brought in like a new Kitsune or whatever and in a way I kind of feel they are basically just bringing her in as like a sub-in type thing since Kira's not coming back and I just don't see why. Why are they bring like Kira's not coming back why do you have to bring in a totally new Kitsune just for that? Like I'm sorry that kind of just seems like a dumb reason to me. Like. It's gonna be cool, I guess, to see another Kitsune, but like, mm -mm. I feel like everyone's just gonna see her as the sub for Kira or whatever, and she might get a lot of hate for it, and I'd feel bad for her. Like, a lot of people already were hating on Kira, like, whenever she first started up in the show, because, I'm not gonna lie, I did, like, I like Kira, but like, with Scott, it was just a totally messed up thing, because it kind of felt like, she was like already replacing Allison in a way when she wasn't but just like her timing on coming into the show was kind of eh because it's like as soon as Allison died in season three 
Scott got with Kara. Not that he shouldn't, like, yeah, he can move on. But it kind of seemed really quick, you know? Now I'm just getting into the past TV show shit. This is the movie. I... That trailer really just, like, got me asking a lot more questions. And we still have a whole nother, like, month. They said it was coming out this year. And then they posted, nope, coming out January 26th. Like, are you kidding me, bruh? You liars. I don't know. I'm ready to see this movie. I'm gonna be reacting to it if you didn't watch my other video about this. Well, like, of the first look. But I said I was gonna be reacting to that movie and I do plan on it. <sighs> it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster for a movie. So, I guess, come back whenever that comes out.